Hey guys, what's going on? Zach here today, and I'm back with another awesome Volts tutorial for you guys. In this one, I'm going to finally show you guys how to make the fusion reactor that you see in front of me to get you a whole crap load of power. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, when building your fusion reactor, bear in mind that you will have to have a um, hazmat suit on, just like I do. This is um, just to prevent the um, possibility of you dying a horrible death um, by radiation poisoning, because nobody likes that. But, um, aside from that, building a fusion reactor is actually pretty simple. It is a bit more um, difficult to build than the fission reactor, but it is much much, much more efficient, and yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to make it. It's actually pretty simple. Um, first of all, you need your fusion reactor, electromagnets, electromagnetic glass, and for the moment, the building block of your choice. In this case, I'm doing concrete because, well, for some reason, I've taken to liking the texture of concrete. So I'm just going to show you guys. Basically, what you want to do is, anywhere you're going to build your fusion reactor, build a pillar up by three, and then place um, your fusion reactor on top. Now actually the smart thing to do would be to actually bury the fusion reactor, but uh, you would have to math out uh, how big it is and you know how big of a hole to dig and I didn't really do that. I probably should have, but anyways just do what I'm doing here. You surround the fusion reactor in um, electromagnets, and then leaving a gap of air between the lines of electromagnets, you want to make uh, another outer ring of electromagnets. And what's going to happen is, in when we turn on the um, fusion reactor, uh, a bunch of flaming hot plasma will start spinning around inside of um, uh, this inner ring. Now on the top and bottom oh, <laughs> on the top and bottom of the um, ring you want to put electromagnetic glass um, so you can make sure that the fusion reactor is in fact working. Now, when I said that this is much more efficient than the fission reactor, I meant that um, you had to manually feed the fission reactor one uranium rod at a time, whereas this uh, fusion reactor can work off of an entire stack of units of its um, power. And while I'm thinking about it, I should go ahead and mention that the fusion reactor actually works on um, this material called deuterium. Deuterium is actually created with a water bucket. You just need to craft yourself a deuterium extractor, make sure it has power, then put a water bucket inside of it, and it starts spinning it around and extracting it, and pretty soon it will create deuterium. Now because this is made from water, this is a theoretical infinite amount of um, power. So now what you want to do is take your building block and you want to build uh, a two long or sorry two wide platform um, on all sides of um, the ring. So I'll, uh, no, I won't cut it. I won't cut it. It'll take too long for the video to finish rendering after I set up all the edits for it. Um, and admittedly, I don't even do all that many edits to it. But um, today, when I got back on my channel, I realized that I haven't uh, uploaded anything in a while. I did notice that I have gotten a couple of more new subscriptions. So allow me to formally uh, extend a warm um, welcome to you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the channel. Um, I'm going to try and start doing a few more things. In fact, I tried to set, I actually tried to d do something yesterday, but I was having some technical issues with it, so I figured I'd just do this in place because I've been meaning to teach you guys how to do this anyways. Uh, okay, after you have all the platforms, you're going to build it up uh, to on every side, including the inner corner. So I'll be back after that's done. Okay guys, when you've finished um, placing the building blocks of your choice, you should be left with a structure something like this. 
this is going to be the um, boundaries in which all the water and super hot plasma is kept. Okay, so when you go inside of it, on uh, the inner wall, on the bottom part, you want to put uh, pistons, normal pistons, uh, at that, which is um, great news considering I rarely ever uh, find slimes. Um, even with the most recent update, I don't remember if anybody else remembers, <laughs> but apparently they changed the spawning uh, coating of slimes so that instead of only spawning in specific chunks, uh, they now spawn throughout uh, the swamp biome, which is amazing news. Uh, okay, so after you set up your pistons like that, um, we're going to get out our lever, and we're going to put it on this block right here. Um, and going to put a bit, well actually we should put our water first. Should we do that? No, we shouldn't do that. I'm sorry, I'm, ge I'm getting confused. We're going to put our reactor turbines all the way around. You're going to need 20 of these turbines. And um, this is uh, so that when the water is being heated by the plasma, uh, that's what's spinning the turbine. I ca actually can't validate that scientifically. I don't really know all that much about fusion reaction. Um, I know a bit about fission reaction, but um, fusion reaction, I don't know if they're being true on this one. I don't know if deuterium's a real thing or not. But Okay, after you put the reactor turbines, you want to get out your um, water bucket and fill it all along the inside. Um, and when we set up the redstone, you want, this is going to be able to hold the water in place so we can turn the reactor on and off. Okay, now after we've done that, we're going to flip our lever on so we can track the, um, the current. And we're just going to run this all along the reactor. And um, this is, I can already tell you this is, see, this is too long for one bit of current to go. So what's going to happen is we're going to need uh, some repeaters, only two, I think, but this, is, but that's simply to, um, well, that's simply, obviously, to extend the current. But okay, now we're going to get out our um, repeaters, and we're going to go to the last bit of charged wire, which is right here, break that, and then put a repeater there, and then go to this one right here, and put another repeater. So, all of them are extended, and we can now toggle it on and off. If the wire is on, that means that the, uh, that the reactor is off, but if the wire is off, that means it's on, and it's receiving power from the, um, uh, plasma. So, um, if you've gotten this far, stay tuned for the final part of how to actually get it to function, and how to actually receive energy from it. So, stay tuned. Okay guys, when it comes to actually getting the fusion reactor to generate electricity and allow it to uh, generate electricity for you, um, you're going to have to hook it up uh, to some form of power. It does have to have some form of electricity to run, and it won't run on its own like the fusion reactor will. So, as always, I highly recommend the use of solar generators because there's nothing cleaner than solar power. Absolutely. So, I'm just going to build a a highly OCD ridden <laughs> rendering of for it to gain electricity because I can't stand for something to be at a po Oh, sun setting! That <laughs> That will not do well. Okay, so, yeah, you just need to hook it up to any form of electricity. Um, actually, if you want to, and, you, and if you've already built a, um, a fission reactor, you could actually get, you could actually power your fusion reactor with your, uh, with your fission reactor. Bit of an odd scenario, but anyways. Okay, after we've set it up with power, um... We're now going to uh, start hooking up 
are turbines to one another. Um, and this is like, you know, this is the way that we receive electricity um, within this. I found it so comical that uh, my antimatter video has become my absolute most watched video since I've been doing this. Clocking in at over 160 views, it blew my mind. Especially considering the information that I tell you guys within that isn't even all that, you know, uncommon. I, I actually thought that was... Everybody knew how to use antimatter, but or to receive antimatter, but evidently not. But, you know, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. If you... Uh, if you're happening to watch this, thank you very, very much for watching it. It's, that was awesome. Okay, so anyways, after you hook up all of your reactor turbines to one another, you're going to place your freaking wire in the correct uh, way. And what you're going to do is you're going to set up uh, uh, some, you know, power storage uh, unit. In this case, I'm going to be using uh, an advanced battery box. Uh, it can hold up to 5 megajoules. Um, the one that you saw me start uh, the video off on, that one had some ultimate battery upgrades, so it bumped it up to 20. Okay, so now, nothing's happening. Why is that? Because we haven't fed it any deuterium, silly. You silly thing, you. <laughs> okay, so yeah. After you put the water bucket in, you get uh, deuterium. Um, I absolutely have no idea what deuterium is, but all I know is, is that this is what uh, the fusion reactor runs on. So, when I said it's efficient, and it handles it within a, um, uh, a stack, I have a stack right here, right click once, boom! That's all. And now, start spinning some super hot plasma uh, within it. Um, which, ironically enough, I believe they use the nether portal block, <laughs> which is pretty cool, actually. So we just come down here to our battery box, and nothing is happening. Oh, yeah, you have to give it a little bit of time for the reactor turbines to start warming up. When they uh, warm up, they'll start to spin. Um... Uh, one thing to note is that this is a lot more stable than the um, fission reactor. Don't worry, these turbines will start spinning before... Uh, I, I'm going to close this before they start spinning, probably. But uh, One thing to note is that the only way for something horrible to happen while... Um, oh, God. I didn't turn it on. <laughs> okay, yeah, here we go. Let's turn it on, flip it, the turbine starts spinning. Water is being heated by the plasma, and we're raking in some electricity. Um, and the only way I see fit to end this video is to destroy it. <laughs> this is the only way for something terrible to happen to the reactor, the fission reactor, it can overload. Fusion reactor, something can happen with the ring, and we have a leakage. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah, well, um, that's what happens. That was solely for demonstration purposes. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please post a comment or send me a message. I'll be more than happy to help you if I happen to know what's going on. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for you new uh, subscribers who have um, clocked in to um, uh, join the adventure. Um, stay tuned for more awesome stuff. Uh, if you like what you saw, please... Um, leave a like, it helps a bunch, and if you really liked what you saw, um, subscribe for more awesome stuff. As always, my name is Zach, and I will see you guys later.